Station 3, Jesus is Condemned. At daybreak, the council of the elders of the people, both the chief priests and the teachers of the law, met together, and Jesus was led before them. If you are the Messiah, they said, tell us. Jesus answered, If I tell you, you will not believe me, and if I asked you, you would not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God. They all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied, You say that I am. Then they said, Why do we need any more testimony? We have heard it from his own lips. Luke 22, verses 66 through 71. Have you ever thought about how many biblical characters spent time in jail in the Bible? Paul and Silas, Jeremiah, Joseph, John the Baptist, the Apostles, and Daniel, to name a few. And what were the reasons for them being arrested? Were these imprisonments justified? Were they cutthroat criminals? Or were they pushing up against something else? something with power threatened by their message. Jesus suffered in the consequences of injustice. He was condemned in an unjust system. He was put on trial by a religious establishment that felt threatened by his message. He had false witnesses testify against him even when they brought him to Pontius Pilate and asked for him to be executed. Pilate asked, what has he done? Here's a quick summary of some of Jesus' crimes. Restoring justice, expanding human dignity, an upheaval of the status quo, a reshuffling of resources, expansive love for all people. Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the chief priests answered. John 19:15. You would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. John 19, 11. You know, when they shouted, crucify him, that meant in a few hours, they all got to watch him die right in front of them not on screens, not from stadium stands, just on the side of the road as they walked by on their daily schedule. We know our capacity for kindness and goodness, but we also know that hiding in the shadows is our immense capacity for injustice and indifference. Jesus submits quietly and peacefully. Jesus is condemned by religious leaders. He is ignored by onlookers. What was their fear? What was their focus? What is ours?